friends, it's been a while. Um, I haven't seen you, slash I haven't pulled out my vlog camera since my Nepal trip. Um, but I am back in Tokyo now and I'm staying at my friend Meg's place in Shinjuku. Nobody told me my hair was a mess. Um, but yeah, I'm staying at my friend Meg's uh, apartment in Shinjuku while she's in Brazil. And while I look for a new apartment here in Tokyo, um, so Meg, if you're watching, thank you very much for letting me stay here. It's very generous and kind of you. Um, but I thought I would just pull out the vlog camera today. Um, there's nothing particularly special going on today. But I did just get back from a mini shopping spree. And I decided today would be a good day to make nabe because it's cold here in Tokyo. And for those of you that don't know, nabe is um, essentially a Japanese hot pot. So I went out and bought my own nabe pot um, to cook nabe in, if that makes any sense at all. And I thought I would just do an unwrapping and show you because I'm very excited. It's the first nabe pot I've ever owned. And I went out to the grocery store this morning and bought all of the different ingredients. Um, so I'm going to make some nabe tonight and I'm very excited! Alright, so I'm trying to unwrap the pot. Um, they wrapped it in a bunch of plastic at the store as to be expected in Japanese culture. They wrap everything so nicely and neatly. I don't know what this is, but um, yeah, I'm excited! Okay. So this is the top. It's kind of got like just some simple like navy blue swirly design on it and yeah just like it's made out of clay and ceramics and it looks beautiful and this is actually the last one they had in the store which I was really excited about because the other ones the other nabe pots were way too big for what I was looking for so I'm glad that I found this one. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god, I hope that that washes off. Okay. Ooh, okay. Anyway, so that's the lid. And for the actual pot itself, I have to remember not to rip this because I need to wrap this back up when I'm done. Ta da! Just a regular black pot. So when you put it all together, it looks like this. Yay, nabe! <laughs> Cannot wait to make nabe tonight. <gasps> mm. And something else that I did this morning that I'm really excited about is I deleted my Facebook page for my blog as well as signed out of Twitter and Instagram on my phone and um, have just vowed to stop using social media like less anyway and um, it was inspired by this TED talk that I saw this morning and uh, the guy was talking about how we should quit social media because it induces a lot of unnecessary anxiety and it fragments our attention and concentration and so um, when we're doing different tasks you know our uh, concentration and focus isn't so good and um, it, I don't know it kind of wears on you after a while and um, I'm starting to delete like social media links from my blog just because I want to focus on writing there and not sh necessarily sharing it on um, you know Facebook and Twitter and all that um, I've been moving in that direction anyway of just kind of um, stepping back from social media and so I'm really glad that I um, yeah that I kind of took those steps this morning, at least a couple of steps, um, and it was really amazing because once I kind of stepped back from all that and kind of realized that the social media was really causing me a great deal of anxiety, like I felt really free and it felt like, I don't know, something had been lifted, like not like a weight, but just something shifted and I just was really happy and I was like, I don't have to keep up with it anymore and I can go back to like... I don't know, reading books and cooking food and spending time with friends and going out and taking pictures and all the stuff that I love to do without having to worry about, um, you know, sharing my life or one side of my life on social media. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be using social media very much anymore. I still want to make YouTube videos just because it's fun to make stuff. Um, but yeah, for Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat and all that, like, I'm done. I'm just so done. Alright guys, it's time to make some nabe. Alright, so what I'm going to be using for my nabe, for my ingredients, um, first is going to be these moyashi, these bean sprouts, that I'll probably put at the bottom. Um, and then I bought some 
fried tofu, always delicious. And they have at the store these mixed vegetable packs that have um, carrots, chives, cabbage, onion, and I think that's it. That, but this is basically like prepared and mixed for nabe, so this is perfect. So I don't have to do a lot of chopping, yay! And then we have piman, green peppers, and um, we have this kimchi uh, soup broth. And then I bought some pork slices just to add a little bit of meat and texture into the nabe. So I'm going to cut up all my vegetables, the piman specifically, the green peppers, and then I'm going to put it all in the pot, let it cook for 20 minutes, and then nabe! <laughs> So my nabe is ready to cook. As you can see, I've got a lot of different ingredients in here. Um, at the bottom, you can see there are bean sprouts. This is the fried tofu, lots of cabbage, some sliced pork, um, some chives. Um, what else? There's some little mushrooms buried over here. And some carrots mixed down in the bottom somewhere. And I poured in all of my kimchi uh, soup base. And now I'm going to turn on the stove and let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. Wish me luck! Alright guys, the nabe is finished and now comes the most important part, the taste test. <laughs> so I've given myself a healthy, hefty portion of nabe here. Lots of different ingredients in there. You can see we have the tofu, the pork, cabbage, we have some bean sprouts, some chives, lots of deliciousness. Okay gonna be super hot. I don't know how spicy this is going to be either. So let's just let's just dive right in, shall we? I'm gonna try and get like as much of the ingredients as I can without burning my mouth. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. First time making nabe. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. The vegetables are so soft. Oh, you guys, this is like the perfect uh, meal for winter because it's nice and warm. Oh, trying a little bit of the pork. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. This was a major success. Best decision made today. Alright guys, so the kimchi nabe that I made was a big success, um, at least to me, and now I have a new recipe that I can make, um, you know, during the winter, which I'm really excited about. And that's it! I just wanted to make this video to say hello and wish you guys a happy new year. Um, I hope that it's gotten off to a good start and that the rest of your year is as happy and balanced and joyful and creative as you make it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a nap now for a couple of hours because I'm still not over the jet lag and hopefully I will wake up in time. I wanna go to this meditation class um, this evening, um, which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, I'll see you guys again when I see you. Bye.